Good morning. We're here off Trail Ridge Road to do the Ute Trail. And our plan is to take it on out about 1.9 miles from the trailhead to Timberline Pass, which connects down to Beaver Meadows. We're not looking at much of an elevation gain. I believe the actual pass is only about 40 feet higher than the trailhead. However, we probably have a couple hundred feet of up and down to get there. But for the views that we're going to have today, this is an amazingly easy trail. I highly recommend it. It's really beautiful. You really get to see the entire Rocky Mountain National Park up close and personal. believe we're almost out here to Timberline Pass. And since this is such an easily accessible trail, it's relatively flat, you get amazing views. Of course, you're going to find a lot of people on it. And right down there is going to be Timberline Pass. I believe we're going to have this thing all to ourselves. But it's only going to be for a few moments because there are hordes of people behind us. Incredible views of Long's Peak right here. Wow.
we're sitting down here in our little spot, chilling, looking down onto the Timberline Pass. However, that ridge right across the way, we're thinking about heading up there. Doesn't look too bad as far as a hike up, but it looks really fun as far as like navigating a ridge. So that's next on the list. out to the looks like one of the highest points on the tombstone ridge looks like the southernmost point Timberline Pass and we got Travis coming down the Tombstone Ridge looking over at Dark Mountain and it's living up to its name it's looking pretty dark today and just to the right of it in the front is McGregor I was talking all loud and I think I scared the elk down here. This one's not spooked. We got some elk here on the Tombstone Ridge. And then right there is Trail Ridge Road. And that was actually closed two weekends ago due to snow. And then looking over here more to the south, you're going to have like Flat Top, Hallett, Taylor, you know, Chief's Head, Pagoda, Long's Peak, Thatch Top, Powell Peak. There's just all kinds of peaks over here. Looking over this way, we're going to have Deer Mountain, that's that kind of flat one on the right. And then way out there we got Palisade Mountain. That's where we were at yesterday. We've been sitting up at this spot for a few minutes. However, Travis has now talked me into going over there. Yes, I said Travis talked me into that, not the other way around. 
So we're heading out here to this unnamed peak. And I think we're looking at every bit of 30 to 45 minutes to get over there. Here's the problem that we're running into right now that I see. Are these big uh, rocks just kind of block. It's kind of block the ridge. It looks a little sketchy to the right, but I guess to the left isn't good either. I don't know, maybe we might just have to go up and over them. We're going to have to navigate this one now. I'm going to follow Travis, man. This is his, this is his deal here. Uh, personally, I'm kind of taking this as a bad sign. Maybe we need to go the other way. We're still trying to work our way over. These are all animal tracks right here. No footprints from humans. All right, I think we're gonna make it over there. Kind of making our way across this little saddle. We're about ready to hit the last little bit of incline.
That kind of looks like a dinosaur to me. Oh well. We have got to get going. We do have some clouds rolling in. They don't look too, too bad. However, we're up on the Ute Trail right now and we're like in the prime lightning zone. So, we need to get out of here. We're working our way back up to the Tombstone Ridge where we can then cruise all the way back to the trailhead. We watched the elk go right up this way. We actually just followed their path in the snow. We can see the fresh prints. No, the fresh prints, not the fresh prints. And I don't think this trail has a name. So we're about ready to name it like El Camino Way or something. El Camino with a K, of course. This is definitely the hardest part of the hike right here. This is, I think this is more tricky than that class. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, dude, we made it. Nice. Man, these clouds are getting worse by the second. Those are starting to get a little worrisome because we're up here on the Ute Trail and there's absolutely no cover up here whatsoever. We really need to start moving pretty fast. This is getting concerning. I mean, nothing makes you move faster than the fear of death. We're almost up there. El Camino Way, El Camino Avenue, See him down there? Taking the El Camino way, everybody? They've just been going that way all day. We've seen four different routes.
just about back to the trailhead and we're starting to hear some thunder clapping in the background there <laughs> and as I suspected Trail Ridge Road is super busy I mean it's gridlocked right there look at this those cars are not moving luckily we're going the other way but what a great hike and we timed it absolutely perfectly too because I believe they're gonna get some rain here and probably here shortly it's getting real dark well if you have to sit gridlocked in traffic I guess this is as good a spot as any sure beats Denver we just got back to the car and literally the second I sat down it started raining so that was a highly successful hike we pulled it off with perfect timing we saw amazing wildlife amazing views and even though we were on a really pretty busy trail we still managed to find some seclusion and do a little bushwhacking so it was awesome great hike five stars out of five stars I really I really liked it all right until the next one y'all Peace.